Good morning, how are you today? I usually like making a video like this right at the beginning of the first fall floor set at Bath & Body Works, but I was out of town during that time, so as you saw last video, I did a little bit of a Halloween store tour, but already we are quickly approaching the second fall floor set. It's still a little ways away, but I think it's going to be close to the second to last weekend of this month, so it's going to be August. 25th is the floor set, I think, and so by the 26th, you will see these changes on the sales floor. So we still have plenty of time to continue learning what kind of fragrances we're gonna be seeing for fall too, but at least for today, I thought that I would start addressing some of the rumors that I've been hearing about which fragrances are coming out for fall two floor set. So as we proceed with this video, just keep in mind that all of this information is still yet to be 100% confirmed. So even if I mention a fragrance, there's still a chance that it's just a rumor and that it's not actually Actually going to be coming back. It's just things I've heard. So take what you learned from today's video with a grain of salt, of course, but either way we can geek out about fragrances that might be coming back, but we can also go down memory lane and talk about some of our old favorite fall fragrances. The last thing I want to mention before we proceed is I am going to be sharing my screen. So as I pop that up there, anything that you see on the screen, I'm going to be sharing some pictures, some collection pictures, any media that you see that I'm going to be sharing in terms of like pictures or little clips and stuff are from the Bath & Body Work website or things that I've just found through Google search images. So I just want to quickly disclaim, I did not take these pictures. These are not my photos, except for, I think I did actually reference one of my own videos of some things I've taken, but either way, just know that these are things that you can just find on the internet through Google search and on the Bath & Body Works website. So as I get my screen share ready, I've already got a pumpkin coffee. I think this is probably going to be officially my first pumpkin flavored coffee of the year. That's not true. Okay, I have been drinking some pumpkin chais. There are some local coffee shops around that carry the pumpkin all year round. So sometimes if I'm craving it, I'll get a little bit of the pumpkin syrup in my lattes or whatever. But this is my first at home pumpkin coffee and I've got it in my little owl mug because I'm trying to get in the fall mood, which isn't hard to do for me because fall is my favorite season. It is a little bit early. It's still hot outside. It's still I was almost gonna say it was still July, but it's not. It is actually indeed August. So we can start feeling a little bit fallish, even though it's early. So let me get my screen shared. All right, hopefully now you can see that. So as you can see, the first fragrance on the screen I have pulled up is called Sweet Whiskey. And this one is a fragrance that is rumored to come back for this fall two floor set. We will see, I haven't seen anything officially to be able to confirm this, but it's just a rumor at this point. So Sweet Whiskey is something that we've had many years in a row, especially for fall time, but it actually originally was released in 2020 as part of a Roaring Twenties collection for like a New Year's kind of thing. So that is what you're seeing right here. This is on the way back machine. It's one of my favorite resources to use when looking back at the archives of Bath & Body Works. Sometimes it's a little bit glitchy and doesn't always pull up the pages right, but in this case I was able to find a couple of product images. We got a shower gel, body cream, and a fine fragrance mist, but also as you can see we've had it in some fall packagings. I think this is fall of 2021 I believe. We've got kind of this light purple and then we had this one that was like a dark blue. And then of course we've had a faceted version of it as well. I think there's probably one more from last year. Oh yes, here it is. This is last year's packaging of Sweet Whiskey. So this is one that regularly comes back as of lately. So if you're unfamiliar with this fragrance, it has notes of golden amber, vanilla infused whiskey, and sweet red berries. So we'll have to see if this one comes back in body care. I think it might. We already have it in a home fragrance. I think it's in the candles right now. So we do know that this is a fragrance that is available on the market right now in the candles. All right, so the next fragrance that you're gonna be seeing on the screen here, well, actually it's a collection. So this is from the fall of 2021, kind of late summer, early fall. And this was a collection that had a lot of kind of garden inspired themes around it. This is the debut of the fragrance called Honey Wildflower, which is one that is rumored to come back. In body care, I've heard the rumors. I can confirm 100% that it will be at least back in a hand soap as I've started to see those come in. So just to reiterate, Honey Wildflower is a fragrance that we're gonna see in stores coming later this fall, but I don't know which form. So 100% I've seen the soaps. I'm hoping that we will also see the body care. So notes on the Honey Wildflower, 
flower are crisp pear, fresh wildflowers, and sweet honey. I know this one was quite popular, so I think a lot of people would be really glad to see this one come back. And along with this fragrance that was also in the collection is White Tea and Sage. This one, I have heard a rumor that that one's coming back in body care. I haven't heard or seen anything to make me officially think that other than whisperings on the internet. So White Tea and Sage is one that has come back a couple of different times. I think it's come back not only in this fall, summer into fall collection, but also in like a spring Mother's Day collection, maybe two years ago or something like that. It's a little bit foggy in my mind. But either way, White Tea and Sage is Sparkling Bergamot, White Tea, Fresh Sage, and Violet Woods. From what I remember off the top of my head, this is a very green, dewy, fresh, gardeny kind of fragrance. I feel like this one could be pulled off pretty well on the gender neutral side. I think a lot of guys would actually enjoy this fragrance, so that'll be interesting to see if this one comes back. So this is a fragrance that we haven't been completely without for a long time since it has been in those White Barn Color Run series of the hand soaps. And then just to share kind of a little product image that I was able to find in the archives, this was the debut of the Honey Wildflower as well as that same collection of that garden theme. And I just thought this little picture was cute, so I wanted to share that with you. And then moving right along, I've got a very low quality video I'll let you watch here that Bath & Body Works posted. I don't know why the quality was so bad on this, but you can see they're kind of doing like a little sneak preview of their fall 2021 fragrances that they had released for their kind of early fall outdoorsy collection of that year. Again, sorry for the low quality. I don't know what Bath & Body Works was going through at the time, but this is very pixely. So Sunrise Woods is the one that's on the screen here, and I have heard that this one is going to be coming back in the body care. So fall of 2021 was the first time that we had seen this fragrance as a brand new scent, but then we've also had it a couple of other years, including last year's 2023 fall collection, kind of the later one. This fragrance has notes of creamy sandalwood, sweet berries, and cozy cashmere. What I've noticed about all of these rumored to come back fragrances is that they're all kind of similar. They all kind of have a woodsy, creamy, comforting, but with a little hint of berries in it. I think almost every single fragrance has that kind of trope, which is interesting. Normally when they release a collection, they have a little bit wider of a variety within that collection, but more recently they've been doing collection by type. Like for example, how at the beginning of fall, we had an all gourmand collection. And now I feel like we're having an all outdoorsy collection. And they have done some of that kind of like around Christmas time but oftentimes during fall, I remember it being a little bit more of a larger collection, like five or six fragrances all in one collection. They kind of have the different colors, but all match the packaging. But then there's like a sweet, there's a pumpkin, there's an apple, there's an outdoorsy, there's like a crisp, fresh, clean. You know what I mean? So it kind of like hits all of the categories in one collection. But nowadays I feel like it's more smaller collections and like here's your gourmands or here's your fresh outdoorsy scents or here's your musky scents. So it's kind of interesting to note that difference there. But anyways, Sunrise Woods, I've heard is coming back in body care. We do actually already have this fragrance in some home fragrance. I think I've seen it in single wick candles on the sales floor right now, as well as wallflower bulbs. Okay, next up, I've got Autumn Drive, which was a part of the fall of 2022 collection. I quite enjoyed this fragrance and I'm a little weirded out at the fact that I didn't buy any. I think during this time of year, I was trying to be a little bit more choosy of what I was picking up. So I'm glad to hear that this one is potentially coming back. I think I would take advantage of that. This one has notes of wild raspberry, warm amber, and vanilla birch. Again, with the berry meets a woodsy fragrance. There's a lot of that going on in all of these potentially returning fragrances. This one, I'm a little bit more on the confident side of the rumor that this one's coming back. So once again, we'll have to see. I'm pretty sure it is though. And then last but not least of the body care fragrances, I have heard news that potentially Together Weather is coming back. And I'm also pretty confident on this one coming back as well. So here is a picture that I actually took. This is a part of my video from last year's in-store walkthrough. So we've got autumn of 2023 and this one was its debut. It smells a little bit bubblegummy on me and I actually have some with me right here. So here's what this fragrance looks like in the body lotion and it has fragrance notes of blushing breeze, sugared cardamom, and soft cedar. So like I said, on my skin, the sweet notes kind of come out and it smells a little bit bubblegummy. This is such a unique fragrance. I really like it compared to some of their other more cozy woodsy scents. I feel like whenever they have like cashmeres and woods and stuff, they all kind of have a tendency to smell a little bit the same on my skin. But this one is an exception and I think it's because of those sweeter creamy cardamom notes. I feel like it brings in just enough candy-like quality to it to be like a bubblegum cotton candy, but way toned down, a little bit more sophisticated and mature than something like cotton candy clouds. It's ever so slightly powdery, which helps with that kind of sophisticated fragrance. So yeah, I think this 
this is a really great one to bring back. It's a unique blend, but a lot of people liked it and I'm glad to hear that it's probably coming back. So if you never got a chance to smell it from last year, you definitely should give it a try this year if it comes back. So I just wanna wrap up this video on the topic of candles. There are many candle fragrances to be coming out. I'm only gonna talk about two fragrances that are notable, at least in my opinion, because they're some of my favorites. I have heard news that Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow will be coming back, at least in single wick. I'm not sure about three wick candles, but I don't remember. Did we have this one last year? I don't really remember seeing it. And I don't have any in my collection either, which kind of suggests that maybe I missed out or I didn't see it in the store last year. So either way, this one I think is gonna be coming back. So I'm excited to hear that. And then there's one more candle fragrance that I've heard is coming back that I am the most excited for. This is one of my all time favorite Bath and Body Works candle scents, Cider Lane. This is my favorite candle. I love this one so much. So I'm so glad to hear that this one's coming back. There was a time in which they did not bring this back. They brought it back, I think it was last year in a Halloween packaging called Spooky Cider Lane. But this one had one of those fancy lids which kind of made it not very affordable in terms of it didn't really match with any of the sales that they had going on for three wick candles. And I don't know, I just didn't want it in like a Halloween packaging. I wanted it in like the cozy fall packaging. So I passed on that Cider Lane. I probably should have just done it anyway because it is my favorite scent. But this is one that I've been holding on to since, actually what is the year on this? 2022. So I think this was the last time that we had seen this candle was 2022. It's the most delicious blend of caramel and apple. This is like all gourmand, no outdoorsy, no kind of other underlying notes that change it to a different route. It's just caramel and apples and that's what I love about it. So the notes listed are bourbon glazed apples, maple sugar, and creamy vanilla. So if you are a sweet lover, if you love those kind of more foody fragrances in the candles and you're looking for a caramel apple one, this is it. Keep your eyes peeled for Cider Lane coming back. All right, as it stands, that's about what I know at the time of filming this video for what's to come for the future of fall at Bath and Body Works this season. As always, I will leave the comment section open down below if you wanna discuss any of the potential releases. As you notice, these are all returning fragrances. I haven't really heard anything about brand new releases and debuts, so that'll be interesting to kind of keep our eyes and ears open for anything brand new coming out. So like I said, leave me a comment if you wanna discuss some of these fall goodies that are coming up. Maybe let me know which fragrances you would love to see come back at Bath & Body Works. I know for me, and I know it's probably not gonna happen, but Pumpkin Picking, if you remember that fragrance in the body care from, I think it was 2018, one of their best fall body care fragrances, very similar to White Pumpkin and Chai. That is the one that I wish would come back. So let me know what you wish would come back down below. And thanks for tuning in. I will see you next time. Bye.